About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Well, this is a good window right here, partner, to wish happy holidays to everybody out there in Madden land. And happy holidays to you and, and yours and the as same well. to you. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. However you celebrate the holiday season. Yeah, by the way, speaking of, what, what is your favorite holiday song? Because I know in the elevator on the way up, we heard Feliz Navidad and you went into the fetal position. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I feel bad about that because, you know, it's a big hit and all, but it's not my favorite. Silver Bells, as done by Stevie Wonder. Oh, yeah. My favorite. That's classic. I'd have to go Burl Ives, have a holly jolly Christmas. Always puts me in a jolly mood. I love that because when we watch some of the Christmas specials, there's Burl Ives is the narrator. Freeman again, a first down carry. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. On second down. It's Freeman, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second down now, it's Freeman. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. This is Freeman. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Third down, Devontae Freeman. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. It's now a fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Check 
And that'll set him back five. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. And now again, the play clock's going to run out on him. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Texans defense stands tall. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback Let's kneeling down Under. at the end, and Under you still team. have the lead. Complete. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Watson. Dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be 